Hello everybody, I'm Beard Grizzly, and this is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, we're back, and we're done with all the side missions I think that I have for now. Because we know how that goes. Uh, last time we ended up infiltrating the, uh, or trying to infiltrate and be nice about it. Uh, we infiltrated the Picus building here in Prague. Uh, that ended up opening up a couple of doors for us with, uh, figuring out who was, uh, and I remember it this time, Prava Dovos. I remembered. Uh, Prava Dovos is the front company for, uh, TF-29, Task Force 29, and those guys, they, they basically just needed to make sure they weren't going to get hacked anymore. That's all. Chang was, uh, Chang was being a little on the, uh, rough side. Uh, but now we're going to actually do the main mission, and we'll see where this takes us. I've been pretty busy. Uh, I've been trying to, of course, do this YouTube thing. I've been trying to go ahead and do Twitch streaming as well. Uh, there's a lot of art involved, a lot of editing, a lot of change and stuff around. Uh, and I keep looking at different people's streams and uh, different videos to get ideas and play around with different things. Uh, I've basically just needed to figure out that I need to settle on a couple things, uh, which is hard for me to do because I try to be as much a perfectionist as I can. Uh, it, it's a it's a tough thing to break. So, oh, Jensen, story. what's wrong? What are you doing here? Miller sent me to find you. Thought you might have run into trouble. He said that. Did he use those exact words? Because it's not my fault. What happened, Smiley? One minute I'm in there running the show, and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence. Me? Can you believe that? I would never do that, Adam. Never. It's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accuse me of tampering with evidence. They're probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there, something big, something that could just blow this case wide open. I just, I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and grab it for me? No, oh, so, is, is that kind of the same thing as MacGyver your way in? Oh, God. So what am I looking at in there? It's a blast site. There's debris everywhere, and plenty of cops, too. Once you get past the turnstiles and security offices, you should have a clean path to the tourist office where they have the scan. They don't see you. How many cops are inside? I don't know. Several. They all had guns, so I didn't stop and count them all. There was at least one guy in an exosuit. And my guess is they'll shoot first and bury the bodies later. Hmm. What do you think is on this scan? It's evidence, Jensen. A 3D mass spectrometer scan of the explosion site. And? And if I had one more minute in there, I'd have it with me right now, and I could find out. But the fact that they don't want me to see it makes me want to see it even more. I'm sure it's important. We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. You won't be able to just walk in there and ask them for it since you're Interpol and, you know, augmented. After yesterday's attack, they're not exactly fans of the, uh, hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency, or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get out of your way. Head back to HQ. Good luck, and, uh, uh, let's not tell Miller about this one, okay? Right. Yeah, let's just keep the chief out of it, then we don't need nothing else, right? Right? You might as okay. well head back. There's no getting through that way. Oh. What? Okay. This area is restricted to civilians. Hmm. I'm with Task Force 29. I thought maybe I could take a look around. You thought wrong. This is a local investigation. You task force guys can go swing your dick someplace else. That's fine. Forget it. 
done. Bye. Get back. No handers allowed. Mm. Well, time to do that usual thing that I do, which is hacking and probably get myself caught and you know, because that's what I pretty much did last episode. Dear God, did I ever... Right. Yeah, actually did it! Go me. Okay. That one was an easy one, to be to be honest. If I screwed that one up or got caught, I, uh, I probably would have been really disappointed in myself. Alright, as expected. Boop. Vent. So we're gonna move through the vent, and we're gonna see where this takes us inside this area. Uh, okay. So a lot of this... I think Lornik is riding a rig. What do we need with that kind of firepower? Is an army of ARC fanatics coming to scrub evidence? Everyone already knows they're responsible. Something else is going on. Just keep it down. We don't question SIS or maybe then you disappear. They do what they want. We just have to keep this site closed. <laughs> Fucking secret squirrels. Ah, uh, at least they were good for a laugh. <laughs> you see that task force lab coat run out of here with his tail tucked? <laughs> Probably left a trail of urine behind him. <laughs> You've got problems, Franca. Get back on patrol. All right, let's take inventory real quick. We have no bio cells. We have a few hypo stim injectors. We've got a dog that's scratching on the bed, and otherwise we've got plenty of ammo with our different uh, with different stuff here. So we're doing okay for the most part. Um, let's see what we can do here. My bet is I need to go take him out first. And then I could swing back and take her out, but I'm curious to see what kind of path she takes. Um, fucking tragedy. The lab gods better find something we can use. Actually, we can just swing back up here. Am I seeing this right? No, they've already done the preliminary structure. Oh, jeez. I should mention too, they put out a patch here today for the game. Uh, I, well, not for the game, but NVIDIA actually released some new drivers. Uh, I run an NVIDIA card, so I figured I'd go ahead and take care of them. I got a little worried because the first time I booted the game up, it actually crashed on me. And I thought that was going to be the end of it. I didn't expect to have a recording session today. So this is pretty cool that we do. Uh, I'm, I, I had seen what they were trying to figure out, which they had actually said that they boosted up the performance of Deus Ex to excellent. Uh, which basically means that their optimization for the game is a little bit more, a uh, little bit more tight, a little bit neater. Uh, and what I'm seeing right now, I do see some better frame rates. I do see some better motion. Uh, I'm, I'm already seeing a couple improvements. So that's pretty cool. Let's see how this looks. Not having those bio cells now is coming back to kick me in the pants. But we'll make do. We'll make do. We're going to search for this. We got a couple different things that works. Alright, so there's a dude over there. We got a dude over there. We got a lot of dudes, really. Uh, I'm mostly just trying to stealth and keep my head down. Uh, just hoping that I don't cause any problems or anybody really looks at me, of course. Uh, but that said, I'm also trying to not get seen or really feel like I need to be seen. There we go, one guy. I wonder if I can actually sneak underneath that. Looks like I'd be able to. Uh, this is the bombing area, by the way. This is where, uh, this is actually where a lot of this... Uh, this is actually ground zero for what had happened when we had come back from Dubai in the first episode. 
So this is us trying to figure out what it is that happened. She's close enough. I'm going to just move her around over here. And you stay down. You can stop making noise whenever you want there. All right, we're good. <laughs> good grief. All right, the good thing is we can't lose. If you if you look down in the lower left, you'll see, of course, the, uh, the bio cell meter, which is my energy meter for uh, keeping a lot of my abilities and skills ready to go. Uh, what I'm hoping... Much longer. What I'm hoping for is that I don't need to get another bio cell to recover this, but I will have enough for a melee, and I will have enough for uh, a little bit of time with smart vision and other stuff too. Basically, they don't fully deplete you. If they did, I think the game would be, you know, would lose a bit of its charm in that regard. But I'm kind of glad, glad for that one. We know who did this. So Mogment is terrorist. Of course, but the right evidence could direct us somewhere more specific to this and somewhere more specific. You want specific? Blow the whole place up. That would make sure we get the bastard. I'll let you get back to it and be careful. Some of these wires are still hot. I know. No one has been able to reach the breaker. Alright, so we're worried about this guy up there and this one. All right, looks like we're cool there. Now, I don't have enough time that I can hack that computer. And she is still looking this way. I got myself in a bad corner what here. What am I supposed to put in the report? Explosive device? No fucking kidding. Of course, our spot's only 35 meters away, which is on the other side of that mech over there. Alright. What I'm gonna do is wait for that guy to go away. What I'm gonna do is wait for this guy to go away, and now I need to actually wait for him to move, too. So we've got two things now that I need to worry about. It's a little slow, I guess. Do I? I don't. So we'll need my stun gun here real quick. Okay. Let's move. What a goddamn mess. It will be a miracle if we find something useful. Killing anything. I just want to focus a little bit here, guys. I'm sorry. Don't have a lot of commentary at the moment. Shit. Oh, that's the mech. That is it's pretty much what you call not good. Ah, he picked up on me. All right, we're going to pop a smoke. We're going to get out of cover. We're going to run through. And we're gone. We are gone, gone, gone. What we're looking for should be around here. So I'm going to see if there's any way I can grab it and get out of here. Just have to find it. There it is. Smiley, look at the scan. All right. Yeah? Fantastic. So once Bring again, we'll we, were, we were all but done. And of course, I got caught. So good for me. Now we need to get out of here. That's going to be the next fun. He gonna look right at me? Yes. All right, here's another smoke grenade. And we're back in a room here, so I can duck and cover a little bit. But we're gonna actually go through here. And just keep moving. Next is getting back through where we were, and hopefully. I can take back on back here. Okay. No one's trespassing. 
We will find evidence. We will find evidence of trespassing. Mm, yes. All right, we're gonna just take back the vent. All things considered, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that bad. Considering we had zero cells going on or anything else happening, that wasn't too, too bad. Uh, we're gonna... Oh! Shit and a half. Okay. Door? I wonder what's through here, actually. Let's check it out. Hey, buddy. Take a dirt nap. I'm gonna take a gun, too. Well, I guess I shouldn't have pressed my luck. We've got them in the vent. Okay. We've got a couple of uh, gas grenades, I think, hanging around here. I like guess not. Uh, I gotta get used to the weapon wheel. I haven't been using that quite as often as I probably should. Uh, we do have a concussion grenade, though. I don't use these often. I probably should use them more. Good, that didn't do a thing. Take him down. He's still looking. Keep fighting until your batteries run out. All right. I know we're mid combat here, but let's hack this. Why not? Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. We're just going to grab these really quick while we're in combat because I don't want to miss out on the possibility of like a code or something like that. Quiet. We have to check. Got one of them. We're gonna pivot. We're gonna dip this girl. Alright, so she's worried about all the way up there. That makes my life a little easier. And we need to actually take that thing up there. All right. And we are going to get out of here. <laughs> Look at that. That mission only took me 15 minutes, but a stupid side mission will take me an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a long loading screen. You guys did not sit through that, but that was a long loading screen. Jensen. Zasrane au glavagonu pro naturale. Chcete snad vyvolat paniku? Ukažte mi papíry. Dělejte nebo vás seberu. I don't have time to waste with this. Make it fast. Vemte si je a vypadněte, až příště pojedete metrem, použijte vagon pro augy. Máme svých problémů dost i bez takových potížistů jako jste vy. Jensen, looks like we have a new lead in the case. It's gonna put you inside Gollum City. The Ark Ghetto. What did we get? Intellicam footage from the attack. Chang was able to pull some images from it. The trouble is, our new psychologist needs to clear you before you go anywhere. So I shouldn't tell her about this piece of evidence I've got for Smiley. Humor the bureaucrats, will you? Bring Smiley your evidence and give Ozen five minutes of your time. Call me when it's done. So what we saw there after we got off the train, though, was I got stopped by a cop because I was on the naturals train. Uh, the problem with that was... Uh, Know, causing a little bit of a disturbance and now the guy's probably going to remember me for next time if something like that happens again problem is I wasn't it's really like given a choice Adam I finally decrypted the audio off the whisper chip tap fucking cold man you gotta hear it I have my hands full right now tell me where you are and I'll come when I can there's an old limb clinic in the Daphne district it's closed down nobody goes there anymore 
I'll be inside. All right, so we're gonna go and talk to the shrink, and we're gonna. Yes, thank you. Amen. Yeesh. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask: Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but being there must have. Is that what this is about? No. That was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. And he is. Uh, he actually I've has a... I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division? David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. David Seraph always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? Certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? Hmm. Not at first. I was investigating the people responsible for attacking Sarah Industries. I was this close to exposing them when the incident hit. You weren't affected? No. So how did you end up in Panchea? I found out Saraf had left for the Arctic installation without me. I knew it was still under construction and most of its workforce was augmented. But by the time I got there, the damage had been done. Is there a reason we're dredging up the past? Because I don't see what any of this has to do with current events. Don't you? Panchera was the fulcrum, Adam. For you and for all of society, everything changed that day. They dragged you out of the ocean and into a world that hates and fears people like you. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Mm -hmm. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? This isn't about augs or, uh, versus neutrals, Delara. This is about terrorism. In my book, there's an excuse uh, for the taking of innocent lives, no matter the reason. Doesn't matter what I think about it, Doc. I've got a job to do. I'm here to prevent blood, uh, further bloodshed, which is exactly what I intend to do. Uh, there are no easy answers, Doc. If the augmented are behind this, maybe they felt it was uh, their only recourse, or maybe terrorism would stop if the uh, ruling class realized how often their own actions contribute to it. Hmm. Doesn't matter what I think about it, Doc. I got a job to do. I'm here to prevent further bloodshed, which is exactly what I intend to do. I hope that you can. Listen, Adam, I know these kind of conversations are a pretty major pain in the ass. I really do appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. Thanks. You mean I had a choice? No, but the sentiment remains. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. 
Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. Cool. So let's get this evidence over to Smiley. And forensics. All right. Smiley Fletcher. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left. Where'd he go? Didn't ask. Didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? It's like you said. They shot first, so I took care of it. Oh. Uh, okay. Good. They had it coming. So what's on the scan? <laughs> oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole arc did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it'll take hours to sift through the data. And, and I'm seeing Sonia later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I, when I find something. You do that. Take it easy. <sighs> so this could have been a whole waste of time. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, I guess I know where our next thing is going to be. Uh, we'll go Thanks. talk Keep to, uh, what's her name? That lady. You didn't Alex? get held up at a checkpoint uh, or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. So next we're going to go talk to Alejandra. Apparently she's got a uh, something she needs to tell us at the limb clinic. Uh, and we'll get more of the story here. I don't have any side missions or anything, so we're just going to keep moving. I definitely can tell that uh, everything is running smoother after that last patch. I hope you guys kind of see it too. Uh, oh, that's right. Last time we also did this thing for Samizda, and it looks like okay. they've got their posters placed all over the place, mainly truck? because I did what I did. So now they can go ahead and start spreading what they need to, which is kind of neat. Okay, so we're going to go inside of this limb clinic here. It's locked. Again, I'm going to take a look around because we do have cops that are over here that are patrolling the area. Uh, if I can avoid getting into a firefight or something with them, all the better. Uh, it doesn't look like there's an easy way to get in here at all. So what I will need to do is either... Just drop it. Yeah, I think we're just going to jump in and hack it. Assuming. Let's see it. Wow, security rating five. Generally, that tells me that there's another way we can go. So we're gonna look around just a little bit. Yeah. A custom. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, What's in your basement? Well, we have a door that's locked. We have another door that is also locked. It's rating four. Can't get into there. And this is rating two. Perfect. I bet that it's somewhere over here, but again, that's only it's only a thought, so I'm not totally sure. That one's not gonna let me go. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh. Is anybody going to be pissed about that? No? I'm going to laugh if this is the code for it. Alright. It is not the code for it. Don't get me involved. Oh, hang on a second. Okay. She's not... They're not looking at me. I'm just worried because of the... 
just because of me having done that hack just a little bit ago in case they they do know or are alerted by it I don't want to they get screwed over here anytime soon uh, but we did find I, I forgot that she did give us that code beforehand so here we go all right we're downstairs this doesn't look like a typical limb clinic this hey, is pretty bad glad you can make it any trouble getting away miller's been giving me some leeway but not much i did survive a terror attack you and me both god sometimes i really hate the city it used to welcome people like us go out of its way to entice Ogs to live here this clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future now look at it times change Alex I know trust me even got the scars to prove it you're a valuable asset the collective could have sent you anywhere why Prague you really need to ask ever since the incident paranoia and racism are eating the city alive the whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its Og problem. Didn't realize the entire collective was pro-Og. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. We've been working together for a few months now. Still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? They got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident, I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's. Someone in the collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. Hmm. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Vesselai, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC don't operate in North America. They're setting up ARC, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. No. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about Versa Life? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. Versalife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? Versalife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for break-in? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Boy, she's a wriggling mess. I can't do anything no. with her today. We still going to Golem City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Well, we now have three Praxis points available, too, which was something I was actually interested in myself. Um, let's see here real quick. Turn to visuals for a short period. That is exactly what I want. Uh, what's this one? Cloak takedown support. No activation required. Effects are applied automatically. Um, 
Okay, this lowers the amount of drain that it puts on us. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, point of interest. Neighborhood watch. Uh, sometimes just or sometimes just war uh, sometimes warnings or calls for help or secret slip by a man with a fake name. No matter how I found uh, out about some of these lo uh, these locations are all worth a closer look. Neighborhood watch. The message I found in the basement of the Dai Taga Bar uh, in Prakaska sounded like a local smuggling ring operating in and out of Golem. Uh, mentioned the Zelen woman. So if I want to investigate, I should probably pay closer attention to my neighbors. I need a second to figure out what's going on with my dog. I'm sorry. Just being a rookie mess. There you go. All right. Okay, so we've got a few extra things. We now have stealth, which you need to remember where that's bound to. All right, found exactly where I thought it was. I'm going to hop back out here, leave real quick, and we're good to go. Awesome. Oh, first of life is down that way, huh? No, that's for the station, which I guess we can take. Let's see. No, I can't take that. <gasps> So, our next spot, it sounds like, is going to have something to do with Versa Life, uh, which actually sounds kind of interesting, but we'll see. What's in here? That's a clock. What kind of clock? Oh, it's an actual nice cuckoo clock. Those are rare. Uh, we got to close this door before I hack this door. Hack rating 5. I guess I'm not hacking it. I guess I'm just going to do this. Okay. That's... There we go. And we're in. Now, what is... Ooh. Well, we got some of our crafting parts back. We got a couple sellables. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. There's something underneath. There's a whole other room underneath. Let's check around here real fast for other stuff. There is a vent up there. Insufficient energy. Oh, no. The plate is called the Hawk. What's this look like? Rating 2. That's where we need to go. This way. Anomaly detected. Oh, I figured Trace that was going to happen. Initiated. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh no! Access denied. Shoot. Well, I guess we'll go with my uh, my good buddy, the vent. Let's see if we can get down here. Okay, we can. It's exactly where it's leading us. We gotta give them credit. This time around, they've got more options to, like, get into rooms via events or another location that you can actually move through. Uh, the last game, you weren't able to do too much of that. You you still had a lot of options to get through vents. I don't want to don't make it sound like you couldn't. But it wasn't quite as extensive as this. Nothing else in there. Ooh, credit chip. Anything on the bottom? No? Okay. So. We got all that. Breaking open the stuff. Grabbing the other stuff. That's good. Let's go back up. Bet you that's the door that was locked. Uh huh. Okay. We'll open this up. Oh. Here's a guy. Just take time off. 
Look, I gotta go. It's Miller. I'll call you later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCam footage. State police dropped it off this morning, badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? Got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. too early you're right on time agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in quick snatch and grab should be easy enough so we've already decided he's guilty we just need to talk to him on our terms not when he's surrounded by fanatics getting into Gollum isn't the problem reaching Rucker is Ark territory is fiercely defended no one sets foot in there not even the state police. Hmm. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an ARC prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promise to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past ARC's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. You ask me, Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. Hmm. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Goddamn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? Not yet. Attitude. You're my only backup on this one. Before we leave, I'd like to know you're actually, you've actually got my back. You're my only backup on this one. Before we leave, I'd like to know you've actually got my back. Trust me, 
I flew ten years in the SAAF and five in the private sector moving corporate heads. And in all that time, I've never lost a fare. How many years with TF-29? Two, which is a year and a half longer than you from what I understand. So you want to keep talking resumes, waste more of our time? Or will you trust me to get the job done? Let's do this. We're ready. Good. Strap in. So what we're basically getting into now is another one of the bigger players, the bigger pawns that really... Interesting uh, pre-game ritual you've got there. You getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. But this guy is somebody that we need to essentially uh, get out of here. We need to basically question him, look into what's going on. Uh, do you guys probably... How far out are we? Coming up on it now. You guys heard Golem City Not in the many beginning spots of the game. I can so. set her down. Go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss. Almost reminds me of uh, Taeyong Medical. Not Taeyong, but just. Uh, just China from the first game looks and feels very similar to that. It's pretty cool. I just love how Ospreys are everywhere in the future. Jensen. Okay. You still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? I was in Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me, I'm gonna to switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. I can't feel my toes, man. Alright. Well, before we go any further, because I just didn't notice the time, I'm gonna actually leave it here. Uh, so we are now in a different area other than Prague, uh, which should actually open up a few different things. This means a lot more exploration, uh, means a whole new environment. Uh, we are now seeing what it is that's uh, going on with the Udalek complex, uh, going on with Ark. And a new place that all of the augmented so are now staying. In the uh, truck. These places are are down and dirty. They're nasty, uh, and I can only expect or suspect what we're going to end up seeing as we go along. Uh, but again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully, we'll see what ends up coming of uh, Jensen and this uh, this guy with a hobble. But <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.